Proof of Dirt Podcast, episode 211. Lamar, happy new year. Yay. Roadkill. Well, we're starting off the year with uh, Uncorked, and um, we're going to new places as we would in the uh, new year. So the movie is a metaphor for life in a new year, new beginnings, new adventures. Mm-hmm. Well, and we just didn't make that up. No. Not at all. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> Well, yeah. let's get right into it, Lamar. What do we think of the story? Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> the problem I have, and I don't mean to be negative in the new year. They Kicking have... off the new year in perfect Lamar style, eh? Hey, Negativity. I, I'll try to be positive. They tried. Okay. I think they weren't focused as much as they could have been mm. like it starts with like a guy like he's shown like in his childhood he was abused and now he's become like a drifter yeah he then gets picked up by this young woman this really nice red what is what kind of car is it is it a corvette or it was nothing? a chevy I nova i thought chevy nova that shows how much i know about cars <laughs> and she's like yeah i'll pick you up but as the trip goes along she kind of has a wild side and i feel like it should have maybe more focused on her problems because with him it's kind of like eh, well he had problems but would go back and forth between they were working together and they were going against each other. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where it's kind of weird. Like, yeah. or maybe they needed to make them both like really crazy, and it's just happenstance. But with him, yeah. he's not her kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Like, it never went like natural born killers, which was yeah, what I you thought. Took the words right out of my right? mouth. Right? Like, yes. I was I was like, it's, it, it either has to go that way where it's natural born killers, Bonnie and Clyde. Or it has to go like this guy has to overcome his past in order to stop this woman. Like, like it never did either of that. It just kind of stayed in the middle. But I did kind of enjoy watching it. Like, it wasn't a bad movie. So I'm giving it a half point. I'm right there with you. It's a half. They, they needed to iron out the details a little bit more. Well, we touched upon the characters, but let's go down deep with our next category. What do we think of the characters? Well, we have here the Hitchhiker. That's just his name. Is that just his name? Yeah, that's, that's right. I guess. Yeah, the they never really did exchange names, right? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, and then she's the driver. Right. Okay. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, and then yes. they run into, I guess, like sheriffs who have some things that they're hiding as well, Joe. So yeah, yeah. And then they have you have Danielle Harris, who's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah, that was cool to see her in it. Like she played the waitress. Did they give her a name, or is she just the waitress? <laughs> well, her name is Allison. Oh, okay. There you go. So that would have been cool. Like maybe since she's like an older woman, maybe she could have been like you know. Like the crazy woman or something like that, maybe. Um, yeah, I thought that she was going to get more involved in the plot, honestly. But she mostly was just the waitress. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just the waitress. So. <laughs> the movie in general is like a grindhouse, which kind of mm -hmm. goes with what they did with like not giving them names, I guess. Like something yeah. kind of like kind of cool like that or whatever. I mean, she was a pretty good character because there is a twist with her that you weren't expecting at the start of the movie, right? Right. And they established that he had some problems with his childhood, but honestly, it doesn't really affect him that much. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And that's the problem. Like, you know, it's 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 kind of flat on certain like, yeah, character he, parts. Or at least like where he's kind of even keel, but he just has these flashbacks and that makes him crazy momentarily. Like that would have been more interesting or whatever. Yes. And the sheriffs, I guess, you know, they're just stock. Yeah. What are you giving it? Eh, half a point. Well, I guess because it's the New Year's, Lamar, I'll give it a half point too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be nice. Uh, let's start <laughs> off. Uh, let's not be uh, a-holes, you know, in 2024. Yeah. yeah. Well, our next category is what do we think of the action? I think the action was a little spaced apart, but for what they had, I think they did a decent job. Yeah, they did some real car chasing. They yeah. shot some guns. There was some fist fighting. Overall, I mean, like you said, there was it wasn't a lot. It was no. it was kind of paced out, but it wasn't bad for what it was. I don't know. What are you giving it? I'll give him a one. What are you giving him? I think I'm gonna give him a half point. 
Well, I wasn't, gosh darn it. I was not overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, and, and I understand that. I think for what they did with the action, it was good, but I can understand because it just was paced like. Yeah. Yeah. Our next category might go hand in hand with this. The mm -hmm. special effects slash kills. Well, there was no digital bloods. There wasn't. You know. And I think they were firing like real guns. I don't think that was fake muzzle flash either. Mm -hmm. And I like that. If it wasn't real muzzle flash, then I'm very impressed. Yes. I mean, the only thing that really looked bad as far as special effects is kind of like some of the interior car shots where they did the green screen on the outside. Like those weren't the, the greatest. But um, I was very happy that they did some real like car chase stuff. And did they really blow up that car? I think they did. I'd have to watch it again, but it looks like they blew up the car. It definitely, it didn't seem like VFX. No. I was wondering if it was a miniature or if they actually really blew up a car. I think they blew up that car. Well, I'll give them one point because I did like the car chasing and I think they blew up an actual car, which we haven't seen in a while. So. Uh, greed. Yes. Well, our last category, Lamar, is femme fatale character. Is this woman uh, a good femme fatale? I think the actress did well. She did. I don't think she was written well enough. That's mm. the problem. It's weird because it's almost like her her motives aren't always clear. No. Because well, oh, it, it was I, established she was like abused as a as a child. That's true. It seems like she's killing men in particular, but also well, she killed women and children because they were complacent. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. <laughs> and it's like, so is she just killing everybody or does she have a goal? That's what I was like. Well, why are you killing the ch women and children? Like, It would make more sense if she was like kind of like luring men and killing them. Like in the typical... And, you know, femme fatale thing, like she uses her allure and then she catches him off guard and kills him. Yeah. This, she's just, it seems like she's just killing everybody. My only problem with her, I guess, as a femme fatale, is she wasn't kind of almost crazy enough. Like she wasn't, the character, like you said, the actress did well, but the character wasn't over the top. That would have, yeah, yes. That would have sold it. Would, I'm going to give it a half point. I agree. <laughs> she, she, I think she has talent, but like you said, they, she didn't go crazy enough. It's kind of like, eh. Yeah. All right. Well, Lamar, we've tallied the score, and the roadkill gets a 3.25 out of 5. It has something. Yeah. I was entertained by it. Right. They could have fleshed out the characters a little more. Also, maybe just sped up the movie a little more. Kind of lingered on some stuff. I also feel like they did the best with everything that they had. Like, they almost overachieved. Yeah, they did. They did. I, I I still think they blew up a car. Yeah, it and that's like cool because really we did. don't. That was cool. We don't really see that anymore, right? So no. All right, was that wrapped us up then? Yes. Well, Lamar, happy New Year to you and to yes. all the turds out there. Peace. Deuces.